Thanks for joining us on the John Madola Show. We're driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Let's talk wall and pop pack, track and field. Joining us is the head coach, Mark McHugh. Well, Mark, uh, a nice team. Everybody knows Anthony Baselli, it seems, for the guy side. Let's start with him. Uh, there's a young man who's uh, has been on the radar, not only on the district level, uh, but on the state level for you. Yeah, he's a great kid, a uh, great athlete. Um, signed to go to Virginia recently to uh, throw the javelin in the disc. Um, just a wonderful boy. Comes from a great family. Mom and dad are just terrific people. Um, I, I actually taught his sister in class, too. It's just a wonderful family. A uh, hardworking kid. Uh, comes to practice every day and gets his all. He's one of our captains. And uh, he's not he's not a, a rah-rah kind of guy. More of a lead-by-example type of kid. But fantastic kid and a lot of fun to coach. And great to see a young man from northeastern Pennsylvania for track and field, head of the University of Virginia. Great accomplishment. He's not alone uh, in the field events. I know you have a, a young and up-and-comer and some other guys there. Tell us about some other field uh, members there. Yeah, we have uh, we have another young guy um, by the name of Kyle Hartman. Uh, he's throwing the javelin right now about 163 feet, um, and he's just getting better and better every day. Uh, fantastic kid, um, hard-working kid, another one. He, I guess he's got Anthony to to follow, and uh, that's a great person to be following in the field. Uh, we got some other good kids in the field, too. We got Sean Reed, we got Michael Griffin, and we got uh, Brad Bieski, a group of kids that, that are working really, really hard. And uh, like I said, they got a great leader in front of them by the name of Anthony Buscelli. Wall of Pop Track and Field here on the John Mandola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Well, I know you got some mid distance and distance guys there at Pop Pack, it seems, as always. Uh, tell us who's uh, doing a good job there for the Buckhorns. Um, our distance team, they, they had a uh, fantastic cross-country season. They won the district in cross-country, and they went to states. Um, their coach, Nolesnik, um, he's, he's a fantastic coach. I have him on the track uh, team as well as a coach. And uh, there are some good kids there, Brian Rose and Anthony Carreri, uh, Matt Sane. Um, there's a, there's a, a Jake Wacker, just a fantastic group of kids that work very, very hard every day. Um, they give their all, and, and I'll tell you, that they're, they're stepping up. And then we move on to the sprints uh, for the guys' side. Uh, tell us about uh, who's leading the way for Walla Pop Pack in the sprinting events. You know, we, we, we're a little young in the sprints right now. We have a, we have a senior uh, who's a good sprinter, but actually he hasn't competed yet for us because he's been hurt and sick. Um, we, we had an opportunity to see him at icebreakers for us. Our icebreaker relays jump, and he jumped 20 feet 2 inches. So we haven't had an opportunity to see him in a, uh, <clears throat> in a meet, but uh, his name is Jovan. Marshall, he's a very good, uh, very good runner, very good sprinter. He was one of the uh, tailbacks in the football team this year. Uh, we got some young kids, Ryan Earhart, uh, Michael Ingley, and, and Evan Zobang. There are uh, some some good young kids there sprinting for us. Um, we got a great hurdler in uh, Chris Irving. Um, he's got the top time right now, performance wise in our in our division. He's a great kid, hardworking kid. His times just keep coming down. Um, he's just a he's just a great kid to coach. Talking with Mark McHugh, we are talking about the Walla Paw Pack Buckhorns track and field team. Well, Mark, uh, you told us about the guys. I know you're excited about the ladies because you have some talent there, and, and of course the girls are working hard. Uh, let's first reverse some things. We'll start out with the sprinters with this group. Uh, tell us on the ladies' side what you have in the sprinting events there at Walla Paw Pack. Oh, we have. We, we you know, I, as a first-year head coach, to step into a, a group of girls like this, it's, it's something to be – you know, cherished here. We we have a girl by the name of Jasmine Stevenson. She just keeps breaking the school records over and over and over. Um, and we have a, it's funny, we have a record board outside the stadium and, uh, we have to get new, new boards for it every, like every time she runs. So I'm just kind of waiting a little while here before I, I decide when to get a new one, but she's fantastic in the hundred and the two. Um, we have a new girl, a freshman girl by the name of Jamia Bridges Butler. Um, she's fantastic. She's, Never hurdled before, <clears throat> and one of our coaches that came on said, "Hey, I, I think she'd be a pretty good hurdler. Why don't we give it a shot?" And she was a little reluctant, didn't want to do them, and then uh, she's been running them, and, and she's just been doing a fantastic job. She has the top time in the girls, uh, the girls' one hundred hurdles. She's just fantastic. And she's also a great sprinter as well in the hundred. Um, she runs the uh, one of the legs of the four by one um, that broke Icebreaker's record. Actually, that stood for about twelve years, and She's just doing a, a fantastic job. She's also the longest, uh, she has the longest jump in the long jump for us as well, and in the league as well. Um, she's doing a great job, about 17 feet right now, 
uh, great kid to, to, to coach. And I think once she gets some confidence, too, the sky's the limit for her. Uh, we have another girl, a junior, by the name of Gretchen Hiller, hard-working girl. Um, she's right behind Jasmine Stevenson, always in the 100 and the 200. Uh, hard-working, very good good runner. Um, she's just a great kid to have in, in the sprints as well. And we have some young kids there, too. We have a Fantasia Kewing. Um, we have some, some Maddie Spinelli. We have some really young kids that are good and up-and-coming. Well, a pop back track and field here on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers, locations in Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, Kingston, Hazleton, and Williamsport. Well, uh, as we move along here, Mark, uh, let's head to the middle distance and distance events for the ladies. Tell us about some of the uh, the young ladies that are doing a good job this year for you. As uh, we're young in the season, everybody's kind of been stuck indoors for the most part. But, uh, hey, everybody's got to hit it hard because the season flies by. Absolutely. we. We have uh, some middle distance. We have a, a girl by the name of Hope Becker. She's actually a, she's a she's one of those tweeners. She runs the 300 hurdles. She's never run the hurdles before. She runs 300 hurdles this year. Put her in those, and and she um she's actually got a top time in that. And she's also an 800 runner and a 400 runner. Um, and she's now she just she just got on our four by one relay team and, and and jumped in there as well. Great leader. She's a captain. Great leader. Um, she's just a, a great girl to coach. A lot of fun. We have another girl by the name of Emily Martone. She's a, a 400 runner and an 800 runner. Uh, she's a, a member of our school record in the 4x4 and the 4x8. Same as Hope Decker. They're both on, the, on that team. Um, they're, they're just great girls to be around, hardworking kids, uh, just fantastic leaders, both captains. Um, we have another girl by the name of uh, Deirdre Schmidt, another great hardworking kid. Uh, she's a 4'8 runner as well. Actually runs the mile, too, for us. Um, then we have another girl by the name of Alyssa LaFave, another young kid. Um, she's a sophomore. She had top time in the mile right now. She's a, a very good in the 800. She's also one of our legs in the four by four. Um, she's just a, a great all around kid and, and just a great runner. Uh, we have another girl by the name of, uh, Svetlana Martinik. She's the kind of kid. It's funny. It's funny, John. We, we put her in the hundred, her, hundred hurdles once. She runs the 800. She's run 3200. She's run the 1600. She, anything we put her in, I'm sure she could qualify for district. And she's just a hardworking kid, great kid. And when she's not running on the track, we walk in the weight room and she's lifting weights. She's just such a great kid to have around. We went to the indoor. We were in the indoor league this year. And we went in and, and she came up to me and said, hey, do you mind if I run the 55 hurdles? I said, Solana, that's fine if you want to. And in the same, in the same event, in the same day, she ran the, the, uh, the 3200. Wow. So that just shows you what kind of a kid she is. And, uh, yeah, we have an, we have a, a girl in the 3200 named uh, Julia Hessling. She's a real hardworking kid, um, running. I mean, every day, whenever you see her, she's running. She's that's all she does is run. Uh, hardworking, great, great kid. Comes from a great family. Um, you know, our girls' side. I'll tell you, our girls' side. We have some great, great kids. Uh, we have a new girl that uh, just came out for the team. Actually, like a week into the season, she was on the softball team, and then she decided that she wanted to do track and field. She came out for us, and she'd never thrown before, never never did it before. And then just last week, she threw 31 feet, 3 inches in the shot put, and now she's leading the division in the shot put. I mean, <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting so lucky. We're getting so lucky with some of these kids. We got another girl that just came out. She's a sophomore. Um, she's really good friends with Alyssa. Basketball player was the starting center for the team this year that went to the district championship. Her name is Molly Jansko. Um, she came out for the team and said, ah, I'm going to give you a high jump a shot. Well, against Scranton this past week, she jumped five feet and is in the is in the lead for the division as well in the high jump. So you know we're just getting some great great kids coming out for the team and just hardworking kids. And uh, I've been very fortunate with this group. Well, this girls' team sounds like a team that's going to be uh, in contention for a league title and a, you know maybe district. So, uh, uh, coach, you sound like you're doing well there. And uh, I know you have some other girls probably in the field as well. Uh, any more we missed? Because uh, I know you've uh, you've done a nice job with the the group and your memory so far, coach. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we do have we have some other kids. We have a, a Taylor Riziki. She's throwing the javelin real well. Uh, we have a Natalie Christopher. We just. We just went to the uh, Cavalier relays up in uh, East Stroudsburg. She threw 102 feet in the in the disc. I mean, not in the disc. I'm sorry, in the javelin. Um, you know, we just had kids that are just stepping up and doing some great things, and they're having fun. And uh, you know, and, and and on top of that, you know, I talk about coaching staff. And I know every coach staff this year, you have a great coaching staff. But I have John Tennell, and I know you know him. Yep. Uh, he he coaches he coaches with us. He volunteers his time. We got a guy by the name of Bobby Donovan, who's always he's always been around track and field his whole life. 
his nieces were the uh, the twins from the Pittston area that they're at Notre Dame right now. One of them is running cross country. He's coaching with me. Um, I just have a great, great group of guys that that are hardworking. And I'll tell you, I, I've been very fortunate, like like I said, to get these guys and and, and have some of these kids. I mean, I, like I said, you have a girl like that, Nicole Pesci, who comes out and throws the shot put like that. Never throw thrown before in her life. Um, we have another girl. I forgot to mention her. She's a freshman. Her name is um, Shannon Vini. She's a pole vaulter. Never pole vaulted before in her life. Um, on Thursday, we went against Scranton, and she pole vaulted seven feet nine inches. Nice. And she really never done it before in her life. So, and she threw the disc eighty nine feet. And and it's just things that these kids are doing. I'm just shocked by. So. We're having a great season. It's a lot of fun. Mark McHugh doing a heck of a job at Wallapopak. You mentioned the coaching staff. Nice to have some veteran guys there leading the charge. And uh, this girl team seems uh, stacked up. And you mentioned some of the guys led by Anthony Buscelli, who's headed to the University of Virginia for track and field. A great young man and another guy waiting in the wings. Well, Mark, we appreciate your time. We wish you well. Uh, fighting the weather like everybody else. And uh, we'll see you in the weeks to come when districts come around. Thank you very much, John. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Walla Pop Pack Track and Field here on the John Mandola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.